Hello students, myself Manatush De, your English helpline on the go. Today I shall discuss a lesson from Hornbill which is taught in CBSC curriculum of standard 11. The lesson under discussion today is the portrait of a lady by Kushwant Singh. Dear students, I am glad to inform you that I have made a new, a new website, English with a difference, the URL link of which is given in the description. Kindly visit my website after signing up with your mail ID and access the detailed contents of all the lessons of your syllabus including reading, writing and grammar, spoken English and English for competitive exams. In this lesson, dear students, I shall throw some light on the theme of the story, story sequence and recapitulation. So let's begin. To begin with the theme, this story is taken from Kushban Singh's book, The Mark of Vishnu and Other Stories. The story deals with the author's memories of childhood days spent with his grandmother. It highlights the strong emotional bond of love and affection that was present in Indian joint families. The story describes the three phases of changing relationship between the author and his grandmother. The lesson also highlights the devout religious nature of the author's grandmother. The lesson also portrays the grandmother as a woman of strong and responsible character. So dear students, now let's move on to the story sequence. The author's grandmother was a very old woman, so old that it was difficult to imagine that she had even been young or young and pretty um, in the past. The author's grandfather, whose portrait was hung in the drawing room, also looked so old in the picture that he too did not appear to have wife or children. The grandmother was a wrinkled old lady with gray hair. She used to wear clean white clothes and constantly chanted on the beads of the prayer garland. She was the embodiment of peace and contentment means happiness. When the author's parents moved to the city, the author was left in the company of his grandmother in the village. While getting him ready for the school, she used to chant her prayers so that the author would pick up. The author never learned the prayers but listened as he loved his grandmother's voice. The grandmother always accompanied him to the school which was attached to the temple. When the little children attended the school, she used to read the scriptures. On her way back from the school, she always fed the stray dogs on, on bits of stale chapatis that she carried from home. But the turning point in their relationship or friendship took place when the author's parents sent for him and his grandmother in the city. He gradually became detested with his grandmother as the grandmother could neither accompany him to the city school nor could help him with his studies. She took to feeding sparrows as there were no dogs to feed in the city. She did not like many things that were taught to the author. Therefore, a prominent change could be visible in their friendship. The author was given a separate room in the house when he went to the university and this separation has brought about a marked distance in the last link of their friendship. His grandmother started spending most of her time at the spinning wheel and kept on reciting her prayers. In the evening, she threw little bits of bread to the sparrows who came in hundreds and sat around her. Some of the sparrows used to sit even on her legs and shoulders. It used to uh, be the happiest half hour of the day for her. Then the time came for the author to go abroad for five years to pursue his higher studies. His grandmother came to the railway station and planted a kiss on his forehead at the time of parting. Her lips moved in prayer constantly while her finger moved over the beads of the rosary. While leaving the, while leaving, the author thought that perhaps it was the last physical contact with his grandmother because she has become 
very old. But fortunately, when he returned after five years, the grandmother did not look even a day older. She spent even happier moments with the sparrows. One day in the evening, a change came over her. She collected the women of the neighborhood, took an old drum and sang for many hours to celebrate the return of her grandson. The next morning, his grandmother suffered from a mild fever. She started praying and chanting on her beads. Suddenly, the rosary fell from her hands and her lips stopped moving and she died. Her body was wrapped in a red shroud and laid on the floor. But in the evening, when a stretcher was taken to carry her dead body, golden light filled her room and veranda and thousands of sparrows sat silently around her body. The author's mother threw some bread crumbs to the sparrows, but they did not take any notice of them. When the dead body was carried off for cremation, the sparrows silently flew away. Even the birds um, react to the death of the grandmother. The author's grandmother, wrinkled lady, short and slightly bent, her hands rested on her waist to balance her stoop. She used to wear spotless white clothes and she looked like she is the embodiment of peace and happiness. She was very pious and constantly kept her hands on her rosary. She took great care of the author in the village when his parents moved to the city. His school was attached to a temple and she always accompanied him to the village school. A distance, a distance suddenly came, to, came up when the grandmother and the author left for the city. The grandmother did not approve of the English medium school where he was taught science and music. Grandmother spent her time in the city at her spinning wheel, reciting prayers or feeding the sparrows. The last link of friendship was broken when the author studies in the university and was given a separate room. The author went abroad and returned after five years. He was surprised to find his grandmother still alive. She was excited to see her grandmother child back and collected the neighborhood ladies to sing songs. The next day she developed mild fever but she kept on praying. Suddenly the rosary fell from her hands and her lips stopped moving and she died. When the dead body was carried off for cremation, the sparrows silently flew away. Even the birds reacted to the death of the grandmother. Dear students, that brings me to the end of the explanation of the theme, story sequence and recapitulation. For detailed contents including NCRT solution, kindly visit my website. Till I come up with another video, take care and thanks for watching.